Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start by giving our praise, our honor, our glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth. According to the Bible, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shah, and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful of I came out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah has created us to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line of your lineage goes back to you being a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American, one of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, a Shalom. It's your brother Halakia from the GMS Denver camp coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shah with another lesson. And we're going to start right here in Jeremiah 46 and 27. It says, but fear, but fear not thou, O my servant Jacob, and be not dismayed, O Israel. For behold, I will save thee from afar off, and thy seed from the land of their captivity. And Jacob shall return, and be in rest, and at ease, and none shall make him afraid. We're going to get the same verse in the NLT. Jeremiah 46 and 27 in the NLT, it says what? Do not be afraid, Jacob, my servant. Do not be dismayed, Israel, for I will bring you home again from distant lands, and your children will return from their from their exile. Israel will re Israel will return to a life of peace and quiet, and no one will terrorize them. Now, you have these people who are living in the land of Israel now, proclaiming to be the Most High's chosen people. They established the state of Israel in 1948. Right? So this prophecy should have come to pass. They should be living they they should be living a life of peace and quiet and no one should be terrorizing them. But when we look into the earth at those people who are actually in that land, what do we see? This just popped off today. October twenty twenty three, Gaza Israel conflict. And what does it pertain to? Listen, on October seven, October twenty twenty three. A large escalation of the Gaza-Israel conflict began with a coordinated offensive by multiple Palestinian terrorist groups against nearby Israeli cities, Gaza border crossings, and adjacent military installations and civilian settlements. Do you see that? Why, why are, look at that casualties, 200 plus Israelis killed, 1,104 injured, 53 captured. You see? Why is this happening if the Most High's people went back into the land in 1948? Why ain't why why isn't the prophecy of Jeremiah 46 and 27 coming to pass according to what the Most High spoke through the mouth of Jeremiah? You want to know why? It's because those people are not the people of the Most High. You see, they're bastards. They don't they don't belong in that land. Let's get that real quick. Zechariah 9 and 6 it says, What well, a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod. And I will cut off the, and I will cut off the pride of the Philistines, and that's what we see. Those people who are proclaiming to be the, the the true Jews are not the true Jews. They're imposters because they don't fit prophecy, pertaining to the Israelites returning, pertaining to the Israelites having peace when they go back into their land. The first night they went back into the land in 1948, when they first established the state, state of Israel, they were bombed by Egypt. That was the Most High signifying that those are not His people. Because when we go back to our land, we're going to go back and it's going to be peace and quiet for us. No one is going to be terrorizing us. Nobody's going to be shooting rockets onto us. You see, we're not going to need an Iron Dome defense system to, to, to uh, protect us from incoming mortar fire, man. See, that's happening to those people over there because they're not the Israelites. They're bastards, man. Let's get that word for bastards. And when we get to it, I'm going to get to this part right here. Spurious, a bastard. Those are spurious people, man. And when you go into that word, the understanding of spurious, let's get it real quick. Right here. Going down to the main, the sense of having an irregular origin, not properly consti constituted. It says what? Well, false sham, not what it pretends or appears to be. And that's exactly what it is. Those people are pretending... To be the most highest people. But when you go into prophecy, you see it don't doesn't add up with them. You see? They don't mesh with what the prophecies say will be happening with the most highest people. You see? 
And that's because they are not what they pretend to be. You see, and all these confidence they've been going through ever since 1948 shows us that they're not the most honest people. Because once again, according to prophecy, when the Israelites go home, we're going to go back to a state of peace and quiet. You see, tranquility in our land. And that's not what's happening with those people because they are not the people. Let's get a few more prophecies. Let's get uh, Isaiah 60. Oh, uh, look at this. And this is a vision that the Most I gave Isaiah of the kingdom of heaven. This is what's supposed to be happening with those Israelis over there in the land of Israel. If they were truly the Most High's people, it says what? Isaiah 60 and 18. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land, wasting nor destruction within thy borders. But thou shalt call thy wall salvation and thy gates praise. But all we see happening over there now is violence and destruction. 248 is dead. That's another thing. If they were the Israelites, they're supposed to be immortal. They're supposed to be up under the second covenant. They're, they're supposed to not be able to die. But is that what's taking place? No, it's not. Why? It's because they are not us. We are the Israelites still in the land of our captivities, waiting for our Lord Yahweh Shah to return to save us, to deliver us, to bring us into the everlasting peace that the Most High has promised unto his true people. You see that? You got all these people in the earth still believing it, believing in this falsity that the the the, the small hatters or the 1948ers are the, are really the most highest people. No, man, they don't fit prophecy, man. They don't fit what's written in the scriptures pertaining to the most highest true people. You see, point blank, period. And this whole conflict right here is witness against that. It, let's go. Let's read some more of this article. It says what? Hostilities were initiated by a rocket barrage against Israel. Come on, man. We just read ain't going to be no more destruction or, or, or war in that land once the true people go back. Right? It says what? And vehicle transported incursions into Israeli territory with a number of attacks having been carried out on the Israeli military as well as Israeli civilian communities. The assault has been led by Hamas and Islamic Jihad with participation from other notable militant groups such as the popular Front of the Liber uh, Front for the Liberation of Palestine. You see? This is what it is. Look. This is not supposed to be happening if these are the true Israelites, man. But they're not. Once again, they're imposters, man. And the Most High is uh, exposing their ass by having this whole conflict go on. You see? That's why this is happening. It's the most I exposing these people for being the imposters and the bastards that they are. Let's go into some more prophecy. Let's get Ezekiel 36 and I'll just wrap it up after that. Because it lets you know exactly who it is. Let's go. Matter of fact. We'll start at verse 5. Ezekiel 36 and 5, it says what? Therefore, thus saith Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah, Surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen, and against all Idumia, who have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their heart, with despiteful minds to cast it out for a prey. And that's who we see in that land. Those people who are proclaiming to be the Jews, they're actually Edomites, man. The Idumians, perpetrating as if they're the most highest people. But once again, Prophecy reveals all, man. You see? Prophecy exposes all. That's why it's so important to go into prophecy. Because prophecy lays out what it's supposed to be. And we see that, according to prophecy, they don't they don't fit the bill, man. Why? It's because they're Edomites who have stolen the Most High's land and taken it into their possession with all the joy of their hearts. And now they're over there warring with those Palestinians over a land that doesn't even belong to either one of those nations. That land belongs to us according to a promise that the Most High made unto our forefather Abraham. That that land will be a possession unto him and to his seed after him for an everlasting possession. You see? 
That's what that's what that's what that's what that is. The most high is exposing everything these devils are doing in the earth, man. You see? They don't got it. You see, they not it. But it goes on to say, it says what? Prophesy therefore concerning the land of Israel and say unto the mountains and to the valleys, to the rivers and to stop. Let me start over. Ezekiel 36 and 6. Prophesy therefore concerning the land of Israel and say unto the mountains and to the hills and to the rivers and to the valleys. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, behold, I have spoken in my jealousy and in my fury because you have borne the shame of the heathen. Look at that. It's, it's war going on in our land. Nothing but wickedness is going on in our land right now. That's how our land is bearing the shame, shame of the heathen. It says what? Therefore thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. I have lifted up mine hand. Surely the heathen that are about you, they shall bear their shame. And, and that's what's about to happen. Because the Most High is going to destroy that land, man. You see? War is going to break out in that land. And it's ultimately going to be cleansed by way of nuclear fire. You see? Verse 8 says what? But ye, O mountains of Israel... Ye shall shoot forth your branches and yield your fruit to my people of Israel, for they are at hand to come. The Israelites are not in the land yet, man. Now you got some Israelites that might be sprinkled over there, you see, not having a full understanding of what's going on. And hell, some of those so-called Israelis are Israelites. But he, the Most High is mainly talking about what? Those of us who are scattered all throughout the earth in the land of our captivities. You see, waiting for the Lord Yahweh to save us. You see, the remnant. We are at hand to come. And when we go back into that land, we're going to be in, the, in, the, in a state of complete peace. Complete righteousness. As the prophecy has told us, no more war. No one is going to terrorize us. We're not, we're not going to have to run, run into fucking bomb shelters. Uh, uh, yeah. Every fucking four or five days. Because somebody's shooting missiles on us, man. No, that won't be a thing once the true people go back into the land. And that's all according to prophecy, man. It says what? For behold, I am I am for you and will turn unto you and you shall be tilled and sown. Because our land is going to be built up again, man. You see? It's going to be even more beautiful from, uh, 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 than, the, the, than the first time the Most High created. It says what? Verse 10, and I will multiply men upon you and all the house of Israel, even all of it. And the city shall be inhabited and the, and the way shall be built. Our land is going to be restored, man. And all a, a lot of Israelites are going to be returned back to that land. You see? We're going to have gigantic families in that land. And once again, we're going to be in peace. This is what prophecy calls for. If it doesn't, fit what the prophecy say is out of place and that's what you see over there in the land of israel right now those people are out of place those israelis they don't belong there the reason they're catching so much hell in that land is because they are not the israelites they are edomites because the most has already laid it down of what's going to happen when he returns his people back to that land peace man and we're going to enjoy the land that the most High blessed our forefathers with it says what and I will multiply upon you man and beast, and they shall increase and bring fruit. And I will settle you after your old estates, and will do better unto you than at your beginnings. And ye shall know that I, that I am Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's what it is, man. The world is going to witness this. That land is going to be the most beautiful land on the planet Earth. That's not what we're seeing now. That's, it's a fucking dust bowl over there, man. All the all the vegetation is imported. Nothing grows in the land because that land is cursed. That land is supposed to be the most beautiful land on the planet Earth right now. Why hasn't that come to pass? It's because those people are not the Israelites. And we got to keep harping on that point. You see, because they've gone through the earth and propagated this fucking lie as if they're the true people. You see, as if they're fulfilling prophecy by going back into the land in 1948. And that's the furthest thing from the truth, man. So we have to come as the men of the Lord and cast all that bullshit down. You see? We have to uncover all the lies, man. And that's exactly what we're doing through the Holy Spirit. You see? The Most High is having all those conflicts going on in that land 
to expose those people for the liars and the imposters that they truly are. You see? That's what's happening. It says what? Verse 12. Yea, I will cause men to walk upon you, even my people Israel, which are, which are us so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. It says what? And they shall possess thee, and thou shalt be their inheritance, and thou shalt no more henceforth bereave them of men. You see? We're going to inherit our land again, and we're going to be in that land forever and ever. And guess what? We will never die again. When we go back into that land, we're going to be immortals. There will be no Israelites dying in the kingdom of heaven. How, how the fuck did the Israelites, if, if they're the people, they returned in 1948, but they've been dropping dead since they've been there. How is that possible when the Most High promised that we were going to be immortal? Well, they, they're they supposed to be immortal. You see how it doesn't add up to what the scriptures actually say? You see, they've taken this, you see, this, this fucking Balfour Declaration as if it's the, the ultimate law. And at the end of the day, it doesn't add up to what the Most High said would be happening with his people. They were, have, they were over there having funerals for their rabbis. Ain't going to be no funerals for the Israelites when, when we go home. Because we're going back in an immortal state. Living forever. You see? That's what it is, man. These people don't fit the bill and these conflicts show who they truly are. Or who they're truly not. They're not us, man. The most I promise, there's rest. The most I promise, no more violence or destruction will be heard in our land. But when we look over there, hey, today, it just popped off today. And I'm pretty sure that casualty rate is going to rise before the end of the day. It's going to be above 200 before it's all said and done. See, that's not prophecy. That's not, that's not what it's supposed to be if they were truly the people, man. So we have to continue to bring these things up to show you that they're not us. You see, they're Idumians who have stolen our land and taken and taken our inheritance unto themselves as if it as if it belongs to them. And it doesn't. You see, when it's all said and done, they're gonna be cast out of that land, and that land is gonna be burned up to purify it. And when it's when it when it finishes burning, we're gonna come down and, and we're gonna go back and inhabit our land. You see? That's what it's gonna be. That's what it is, man. So I think the point is being made. Like, hey, the, the scriptures laid out plainly what it's supposed to be. And once again, these people do not fit the bill. Israeli Gaza conflict live updates. Netanyahu says Israel is at war with Hamas after surprise attack. And hey, you're not supposed to be at war if you're the Israelites. You're supposed to be at peace. Palestinian militants launched a surprise attack, air and sea attack on Israel. Land, air, and sea attack on Israel. Look at that. How the hell you at war? And you supposed to be the people of the Lord? No, man. Ain't going to be no... Hey, ain't going to be... No. <laughs> oh, another one. Another one. Hold up. Talking about you at war. What does the prophecy say about war? When the, Israel, when the Israelites go home, there's supposed to be no more war. Isaiah 2 and 1, it says what? The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. This pertains to the Israelites, right? And it shall come to pass in that day. So like it. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of Yahweh's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow into it. The, 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 the Israelite government is supposed to be, the, it will be the top government on the planet earth. You see? No one is going to dictate to us. When we come into power, and all nations are going to flow into it. Why? It tells us, verse 3. And many people shall go on and say, so, shall go and say, come ye and let us go up to the mountain of Yahweh, to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths, for out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh shall from Jerusalem. And this is not something we see happening. Right now, man, we don't see the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High being propagated from the land of Israel. We see nothing but wickedness going on in that land. They got a fucking, they got synagogues, they got mosques, they got fucking uh, 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 Christian churches over there in the land of Israel. That wouldn't be a thing. When when 
when we come into power up under our Lord Yahweh Shah, the only law is going to be the law of the Most High. The law, statutes, and commandments that we find written in the Holy Bible. Ain't going to be no other gods worshipped, uh, worshipped on the earth. And the nations are going to come and learn righteousness from us in the land of Israel. But what do we see them doing uh, at the present time? Up under these damn Idumians who are perpetrating themselves to be us. They're going up to that land to learn wickedness, man. That's why you have Pink City every year. Pink City, Tel Aviv, the gayest place on earth. That's what, the, hey, that's what the articles say. You go look it up. That wouldn't be a thing if they were the true chosen people, man. See, that when the Israelites go back into that land, we're going to propagate righteousness from it. And that's something we don't see happening. That's another strike against them. Another prophecy they don't fulfill, man. But you still have these people in the earth believing that these are the true people of the Lord, man. Completely blind. Verse 4 says what? And he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. <laughs> so what are we talking about? Why is this nigga knitting out of you? Talking about they're at war with Hamas when the prophecy says nation shall not, shall not learn war uh, shall not learn war anymore. They're going to beat their, their, their swords and their spears into pruning hooks and plowshares because of what? They're going to be cultivating our land, man, building it up. There ain't supposed to, ain't supposed to be no war on the earth if, if, if the true people are back in the land. But here we are on the brink of World War III. Here we are with Vladimir Putin talking about this completely annihilating America with nuclear missiles. You see? When it pops off. Why is, why, why is this a thing in the earth if the Israelites, if the true chosen people are back in the land since 1948? It's because they are imposters, man. Once again, prophecy reveals all. Proph prophecy reveals who these people truly are. You see? So, man, hey, yeah, the point is being made, man. These are not the people. They're imposters, and they're going to continue to be exposed you see, into all the lies are brought to the forefront, man. Thus saith the Bible. Thus saith Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. And with that, I'm going to end it by giving all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, and the sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful of the came out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. Doing the work as Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah has created us to do. With that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wa, Abba, Abba, Abba.